We have just seen more evidence of the kind of barbaric way in which Hamas governed the Gaza Strip. The IDF just published 46 minutes of video taken from CCTV cameras inside a Hamas base known as Outpost 17 in Jabalia in northern Gaza. The Israel Defense Forces raided the base in March. The 46-minute video that the IDF published shows Hamas terrorists interrogating and torturing Palestinians in Gaza. It's difficult to watch. The footage is dated from 2018 to 2020. It shows Palestinian detainees in very distressing conditions. They are in unbearable pain. They are chained to floors and ceilings. Bags are over their heads. You can see a Hamas terrorist sitting comfortably in his chair as a prisoner is handcuffed and hanging from the ceiling beside him. It's horrific. This is Hamas. Hamas was the government of Gaza. Hamas brutally crushed any dissent. Hamas tortured anyone it wanted to. The Hamas regime that tortured its own people and filmed it is the same Hamas regime that invaded Israel on October 7th, carried out barbaric atrocities, and filmed it. Hamas is a death cult. The Hamas that exists in Gaza is not the same Hamas that existed a year ago on October 7th. Hamas's military capabilities and its ability to govern the Gaza Strip have been mostly destroyed by the Israel Defense Forces. What remains of Hamas are armed gangs, looters, guerrilla fighters, and those who hold 101 Israeli hostages in underground terror dungeons. When will the war in Gaza end? When will there be a ceasefire? For my answer, I turn to U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. Here's what he said on Face the Nation on CBS News on Sunday. He said, It really today is not Israel that is standing in the way of a ceasefire and hostage deal. It is Hamas. Israel has said it is prepared to do a temporary ceasefire for a number of hostages and then try to build, to try to build on that to get all of the hostages home. Hamas said no. Sullivan continued. He said, what they are communicating to the mediators, that's Hamas, what they are communicating to the mediators is no, no. We will not do a ceasefire and hostage deal at this time. So Sullivan said, so what we need to do is get the rest of the world to continue to increase pressure on Hamas to come to the table to do a deal in Gaza because the Israeli government has said it's prepared to take a temporary step in that direction. End quote. That's exactly the point. We need to increase the pressure on Hamas and increase the pressure on Hamas's patrons, Qatar, Turkey, and Iran, so that Hamas ends the war that it started, releases the hostages, and allows the people of Gaza to build a future of peace and not a future of war. As Hamas continues to fight, Israel has expanded the humanitarian zone inside Gaza. Anyone who wants to send humanitarian aid into Gaza food, water, medicine, medical equipment, and shelter equipment can send it into Gaza. There are no restrictions on the amount of humanitarian aid that can enter Gaza. 